What's going on guys? Welcome back to AMA Garage 253. I'm Andrew and tonight we're actually going to be working on a modification for a Honda Grom. Uh, the Honda Grom is lowered and the average uh, or normal kickstand that comes with the Grom um, is too large for the lowered bike. So what we're going to end up doing is cutting, I already marked this one, um, cutting a section out, as you can see kind of the marks, cutting it out, pushing it up, welding it back together. Um, it's a DIY type fix for the Grom instead of having to go out and buy a brand new one uh, that will basically work for a lowered Grom. Uh, we're going to do it ourselves and hopefully we get both of these taken care of and that they work with no problem. So stay tuned, watch the video, and we'll get right back with you. Thanks. Alright, so like I said, it shows you just a little bit ago. Um, we got one of these already marked up. We're going to probably end up taking about an inch and a half off of uh, this kickstand. Just right below this bracket and right above um, the flat part as far as on the lower part of the, the kickstand. So we're going to go ahead and mark up this next one. Um, so that way when we cut them, we can just cut them both, put them together at the same time instead of having to do one and then do the exact same thing for the another one. So here we go. So what I'm going to end up doing is kind of giving a mark of where I think, you know, as far as the, the straightest point, because we don't want to have to cut into the curve. So look at the backside before it actually starts curving down. It's going to be probably about right here. So you can see it's going to be probably right here, right before it starts curving. So the way that I'm going to do it, and it could be completely different than what other people have done. Um, what I'm going to do is paint marker. So it's not going to come off most services is I'm going to draw a, a line that goes through both of those marks. So I'm going to do that three different times. So once I cut it in between, I can take the bottom half and the top half, put them together, tack it. And that way I have my, my line all the way around to make sure that it's straight. So I'm going to go ahead and get this done. And the next part we'll be cutting these things. All right, guys. So as you saw, we got both of them cut. Like I said, I just drew um, lines on there, so that way I knew kind of where they were going to be left off. Um, one thing I did not do, which I probably should have done before this, was to take a wire brush or you know a flap, uh, flapping disc, and take away that paint, so that way there's a clean metal. When I tack them, um, it'll be a clean weld and tack. So one thing I will do, I just switched um, the grinder to a, a wire wheel. So what I'm going to do is clean up some of the spots in between the lines. So that way I can just do a quick tack um, on those three or four different areas. And once the tack is done, then I can clean it all the way and then do a nice, nice weld around, around them. So um, both of them are cut. This is this one. So as you can see, it gonna fit just like that I'm gonna tack it up and uh, we'll have a shortened kickstand for the Grom so we're gonna clean these up and we're gonna get to welding and then once we're done I'll go ahead and show you the finished product Alright guys, as you can see, I got this all clamped up. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get it all tacked up. You can see the line right there. Um, literally just kind of clamped it with the pipe clamp. This is modified uh, C-clamp that my dad did. Uh, he just put a couple pieces of angle on there so it holds pipe and some other materials depending on what you're welding. Uh, really good. So this for this application, this is actually a really nice tool to have. Um, so we're going to go ahead and tack that up 
we're gonna position the other one, kind of do the same thing. Like I said, and then those marks uh, that I wasn't able to clean fully um, as far as the paint off of the, 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 the kickstand. Uh, I'll go ahead and be able to, you know, like this one right here. Uh, I won't be able to get that until it's tacked uh, completely. So that way I can actually take a grinder and then do a nice weld. So ultimately I'm gonna weld them up and I'll probably end up taking a buffing wheel and cleaning them all up, make them all smooth and then repainting them black so the OEM finish. So we're gonna go ahead and get these uh, tacked up, finished welded, and uh, we'll show you what they look like after they're all done. Thanks. All right guys, so we got both of these all shortened and welded up. So like I said, uh, just a little bit ago, the next step is to take a, a buffing pad, uh, or buffing wheel, sorry, with the grinder and clean the welds all the way down, kind of make them all smooth. Um, so that way I can spray them black and they look almost OEM. So um, let's take a look here. So yeah, clean them up, look at, you can see, you know, we took about an inch and a half, uh, maybe an inch, about an inch and a quarter off um, each one. So this is a, a easy way to do it. That way you don't have to go out and spend, you know, $135 on a, um, a an aftermarket kickstand that doesn't look as good as the original or that won't hold up, whatever case is. So we're going to go ahead and finish grinding these up and uh, we'll let you see what it looks like after they're all grinded up. So it's a fun little project. So get back to work. Alright guys, so I just finished up the kickstands for the Grom. Uh, like I said earlier, what I did was measured them, marked them, cut them, tacked them together, finished welding together, and then I grinded them all the way down so that way they were smooth. Uh, I didn't record what I just did, which I just primered them and painted them. I'll take a couple photos afterwards, or maybe even a, a clip um, tomorrow once they dry, so that way you can see the finished product. Uh, but all I did was take about an inch and a half off. Uh, right below, there's a triangle style bracket on there on the kickstand, probably like maybe just a quarter inch below that weld onto that piece. And then like I said, right before uh, the churn, um, once it gets flat off of the churn from the actual peg of the kickstand, that's where I measured. So that's where I cut. If you guys want to do it at home, um, quick D, you know, do it yourself. Instead of having to, to go out and purchase a brand new one, uh, you can use the, the OEM one. So just measure, like I said, those little spots, take that out, put it together, weld it back in, paint it, and you have a brand new kickstand that will fit for all uh, the lowered groms out there. So please like, subscribe. Uh, we appreciate uh, all the support that we've had. Uh, we enjoy doing these videos, especially in the shop. And um, we continue uh, have a lot of plans to continue putting content out for you guys. So if you guys like this video, please comment and let me know if you like this style of video. If you want to see more things as far as maybe groms or ruckuses or whatever the case is, uh, let us know so that way we can... Uh, put some videos together that, that you'll definitely enjoy. So have a good night, be safe, and we'll see you later.